Get ready for a massive blast in the crypto world. Investors predict the fourth largest cycle in history. Brace yourselves for an 18 to 24 month bull run. Stay tuned as we dive into the key factors fueling this explosive Bitcoin phenomenon. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and let's start. And here we go with Bitcoin. What's next? The Big Sunday report. All you need to know. Technical analysis, LSA, A, and psychological analysis. In our last Sunday report, we discussed the importance of 48,500 level. And indeed, nothing has changed since then. Bears have been very active lately. Whenever there is 2-3% drop, wild predictions start surfacing about the potential fall to the 30 or even $20,000 region. These traders clearly have no understanding understanding of the topic and disregard the facts presented in the charts, such as the breakout about the golden pocket as the golden cross or the breakout about thousands of key levels. Indeed, Bitcoin is about to climb above the 100,000 in the coming months, but bears and doomsayers will always find reasons to deter you from the market. These are the same excuses we've heard at the absolute bottom at 50,000, 15,000, and the same noise we encounter the 20,000 25,000, 38,000, 44,000, 48,000, and now 50,000 dollars. So what's going to happen next? Firstly, let's review what happened in February alone as we witnessed two of the biggest single-day market cap increases in stock market history, all within this month. Meta experienced an astonishing inflow of $196 billion in just one day at the beginning of February and most recently on the 22nd of February. Nvidia set the record for the highest market cap increase in stock market history with $277 billion in a single day. That's approximately the entire market cap of Ethereum. And stock market sees record after record, especially AI sector. Crypto AI tokens also fully exploded recently and it's just the beginning. Do you realize how small this market currently is? Do you understand the magnitude of growth still ahead even for large market cap coins? Only if you realize, only if you understand the power of the golden bull as and only if you are knowledgeable about the fourth industrial revolution that will bring us closer to AI, digital money, including blockchain-based solutions, dApps, etc. The future is indeed bright. Regarding Bitcoin, I see numerous accounts once again posting bearish charts as we are indeed in a state of disbelief and at the beginning of a golden bull phase. The next move I foresee is the 55,000 region as the next target and I plan to place several long orders in the region between 49,300 and 50,200 if a market allows us to visit. Remember, the 48,500 level is our most important support, therefore my next clear target is the 55,000 region with invalidation if we drop below the 48,500. As the next leg up, next leg up is loading 53,000 to 55,000 dollars. Important, we need to find a way to minimize the amount of the people reading the Sunday report without the fully take public. Okay, that's to the fans of this guy. We are going for more information. Andreas Antopoulos describes his first experience with Bitcoin and his immediate obsession over the network. Dropped everything to study, months of dissociation, didn't eat, didn't sleep. This story will resonate with many. Also, billionaire Bill Miller on why he wouldn't sell Bitcoin at the bottom of the bear market exactly one year ago. Legendary HODL I try to buy things I'll never have to sell. Bill Miller on February 22nd, 2023. Next up, don't be regarded, hold your keys or be fucked and cocked like a good little little bitch. Bitcoin. And it's gone. Say so got into my Binance account and took everything. Get yourself a hardware wallet. Hello everyone, hope all are doing fantastic. For the record, I believe I am the smart and the advised person. I never saw this could happen to me, yet I did. It did. And I must have clicked on some link and bomb, someone got a hold of my email account. Just like that, he took control of all my social medias and was able to get uh, to get into my Binance account even with 2FA activated as he added a passkey to the account and was able to clean sweep it under 2 minutes. You think it is secured? It's not. They will fuck you over in no time. Luckily, I am not a complete idiot and was only keeping about 150 bucks of shit coins for the lows on it and all my bitcoins are on the hardware wallet as the pre-duties could have been very severe and everything could have been gone in under 2 minutes. This is a PSA 
way and a reminder for you all, do not keep anything on exchanges, whatever is on there is not yours, anything can happen, be it a hack or exchange collapse or anything really, put all your stuff on the hardware wallet, do it for yourself, do it for your sake. We've officially mined 93.5% of all the Bitcoins and here we could literally see the mine supply is 19.6 million Bitcoins and only 6.5% of the supply left to be mined through the 100 years period of time, which we already have most of the supply of the supply achieved and there's not many will be mined in the near future. People work 100,000 hours throughout their lifetime to earn money and then get throughout by inflation without knowing if they would spend 100 hours of that time, which is 0.1% about the money, their lives would change drastically with Bitcoin of course. And Bitcoin is the cheat code for the entire global financial system. All the gains in the stock market since the US came off, the gold standard in the 1970s has been from printing money. It's true. If you don't believe me or don't get it, I don't have time to try and convince you. Sorry. Next up, Bitcoin is another bull run on the horizon. So Bitcoin Way may witness another bull run in 2024 as the recent rise in the assets inter-exchange flow pool suggested the growth in the bullish sentiment. Pseudonymous analyst Bullfighter interferred this a new report. The IFP metric is used to analyze Bitcoin flows between the spot exchanges and derivative exchanges. When the metrics increase, it suggests that more Bitcoins are flowing into the derivative exchanges as this movement often indicates a growth in interest and potential for a bull run. Conversely, when Bitcoin's IFP declines, it suggests that more coins are flowing out of derivative exchanges into the spot exchanges as this signals a rise in negative sentiment and it's usually a precursor to a potential bear run. The analyst assessed the metric historical performance and found that in 2016, Bitcoin's IFP spent an extended period of 55 days below its 90 days moving average, indicative of a bear market. However, by June, the metric broke above the average and trended upward as a movement that was followed by a significant rise in the coin's price. A look at the current market showed that Bitcoin's IFP has been trending all upward since the 7th of February after being below its 90 day moving average average for 43 days. And according to Bullfighter, if the IFP breaks above its 90 day moving average again, we may see the bulls regain strength. So why you need to look both ways? Since Bitcoin hit the $53,000 mark uh, on the 20th February, its value has declined. Per coin market cap, the coin exchange hands at a 51,658 as of the writing, dropping 2% of its price in the past 4 days. An assessment of Bitcoin's performance on the daily chart showed that the start of the price deep 4 days ago coincided with the when its awesome oscillator began to return red upward facing histogram bars, as this indicator measures the strength and direction of an asset trend over a given period, and when it displays red upward facing histogram bars, it's signals the presence of bearish sentiments despite the generally bullish outlook. That's all the information we got on today's video and if you're interested in more, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one and peace.